We're doing the half guard underhook sweep. Okay. So I got my knee shield, a high knee shield. We had a class on this recently, so we're gonna kind of assume you know how to use the knee shield. We're gonna get the underhook and then go through what to do when you get the underhook. Okay. So first off, make sure you are hooking the, the leg here. You've got a high knee shield, is preferable. A low knee shield, it's a little easier for him to block the path of my underhook. Right? When I have a high knee shield, I can sort of curl myself in and reach under my own leg here to get the underhook, right? So I kind of, I don't want to take my leg out. Now it's a battle for who underhooks first. I'll probably actually lose that battle. I want to sit up and go under my leg. See the gap here? I'm going elbow first under my leg. As you get up, okay, don't stay down. Here again, he's going to pump, out pummel this. Right. Especially like, push my face. Uh, more mean. Just push, push, yeah. yeah. If he's doing something like this, hard to sit up, right? So when we enter, I'm blocking that arm. I close the gap. I underhook. Okay. Immediately when we underhook, it should be high, right? I'm reaching my arm up because the worst thing that can happen right now is Rich goes cross body. Okay. Like this. Okay. So when he goes cross body, see my underhook squashed. It's really hard to bring him forward with my arm, which is why I want him like too high when I get an underhook. So we go back. So if you reach around the waist, very easy to go cross body. Right. You go back. If I reach high, okay, he goes to go cross body. It's more difficult. Okay. And then I just have to get around the corner. I'm not going to go to the waist until I'm around the corner. Because while it's up here, I'm safe from that cross body. Once you get around the corner, what I mean by that is like posting on my hand or my elbow and my left leg, scooting around and getting to here. Okay. And now if he tries to go cross body, I'm too far around, right? So I was like, cut myself around the corner. Okay. On the other side, we're here. Okay. I leave with my elbow, I sit up, I go higher. Okay. And then I want to scoot around the corner. And now I take the hip and I attach to the far hip. Right. So next thing, here, when I've got this far hip, another really common mistake is like being loose, like out here. Okay. So I don't want to do everything from out here. Uh, come with you. Things like that can happen. It's going to be, even when I get up, he's going to be very far away. Once you're around the corner, be tight. Drive your chest forward here. Okay, I'm like this, attached to those hips. Right, if he tries to move away, I'm going to be, like he's just pulling me up as he tries to disengage. Okay. So get around, un high underhook, get around the corner, get tight with your chest. Right. Then we've got to get up. Okay. So I'm going to show, I'm going to show the underhook sweep, and then I'm going to show the roll under sweep, which is a counter when they pressure back against you. Okay. So to get up, I really, don't, ideally, I don't have my right leg trapped. Okay. This is again easiest way when you think about it to get up is I go on oh, here. I got the underhook. I can get up. Okay. But now I'm stuck. Nothing can drive into it. So if Rich just wants to keep his base, and I try, and I'm trying to drive him over, what have I got to actually do that? Not much. So it looks like I'm doing good, but I'm actually not. What I want is my, I want to get my left leg trapping the leg, so my left leg trapping the leg, and my right leg out to drive. Okay. Now if he's driving against me, I can actually like put some pressure in, and we're going to start to take him. I'll go through that. So before we get up, we want to change feet. You'll have your, your uh, right leg trapping at first. I want to change those to my left leg. All right. All right. So we're going to be like this. I'm going to change. I'm going to drag the foot to my butt. And my own foot to my butt. So I've actually got some drive to get up. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to try and hip in to get up. It's difficult. When I drag the foot, I can drive and retract my right leg. Okay. Watch my right leg come in. Stuck. Okay. My right leg sucks. I drive. I can come up. Alright, All right. last thing. So I'm now in the dogfight position. There's a whole lot of options from here. Okay. Main one is just drive through them to take, take them down. Okay. So I keep his leg trapped with my left leg. I step up on my right leg, I put my head under the shoulder, 
to lift his shoulder up a little bit. Okay, I don't want him, like if he's low down, it's hard to drive him. Yeah, okay. Get under the shoulder, and I circle in front as I drive, like this. And I take him down. So in total, got a knee shield, high underhook, get around the corner, we'll get a low underhook. Okay, get in tight, drive forward, change feet, drag the foot, and then I get up so that I retract my right leg and block him with my left leg. Head underneath the chin, circling in front, on top. If you want to learn more on half guard, you can check out our full half guard set on my website, submeta.io. This set, and it starts out with courses that are designed for uh, first starting out with half guard, which goes through the main things you need to know, and then moves on to specific areas such as the underhook, the dogfight, where we're going in a lot more detail as advanced courses.